let's take a quick look at this. So um, there are a couple um, um, things that we don't really need to think about. One is we know that there's going to be some acceleration here. It has to accelerate. It's going to accelerate by spinning faster when it starts playing, right? Like a CD, when the CD player's off, is looking like this. And then there's some amount of time when it spins up to the point where something is going 1.2 meters per second. We don't have to worry about that. We're going to just assume that it, that's already happened. The other thing that we know is that as the laser moves from the inside to the outside of the disk, the disk is going to be spinning slower and slower and slower. It's going to be accelerating in the opposite direction of the motion. The way I'm spinning this pot lid, this is it moving in the counterclockwise, or let's call it the positive direction, which means it should have negative acceleration in that frame of reference. If we don't care about any of that yet. All we want to know is how fast is it spinning, rotating, when, it, when the laser is this far away from the center, and how fast is it rotating when the laser is this far away from the center. To figure that out, we have a pretty simple um, relationship, which is that angular velocity is linear velocity divided by r. Our linear velocity is always going to be 1.2 meters per second. We have two different distances. We have 25 millimeters, which is 0 0.025 meters. And we have 58 millimeters, which is 0 0.058 meters. So divided by 0 0.025 will give us an initial angular velocity of, I think, 48. And this is meters, so this would be meters per second divided by meters, which leaves us with the unit of per meters, or per seconds, sorry. So this would be 48 per second. That doesn't mean that much to us. We don't like the fact that radians are a unitless ratio. And I was just talking with some people, and I don't like it either. I can't deal with it. So we're always going to use the fake unit radian here. When you start multiplying things and you get weird units like a radian meter per second, just remember, a radian is nothing. It has no unit. So we can just, anytime we want, we can just get rid of it. Anytime it's convenient, we can use it. Right? So this is going to be our, our um, starting velocity. And at the end, our angular, or our angular velocity is going to be 1.2 meters per second divided by 0 0.058 meters, which ends up being, I already forget, is it 20.7? Yes. OK, 20.7 radians per second, okay. which leads us to our next challenge, which is what is the angular acceleration of an 80 minute CD. Some CDs play for like, I think 72 minutes, some play for 80 minutes. If we have an 80 minute long CD, what's its angular acceleration? And what is the tangential acceleration of a point that's 58 millimeters from the center of rotation? Right, so that's the second set of questions here. See what you can do with that.